Hello everyone, welcome back to another video with no dogs. No, 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 don't click away, I'm just joking. Today's video is going to show you a day in the life of my seven dogs. Yes, that is correct, we have seven whippets. For those who own whippets, they know that whippets can be very lazy, especially when the weather is very bad. And for the last week we've had very bad weather. That's why I actually included footage from two different days so that I can show you what they do when the weather is nice as well. A few little disclaimers uh, to include here. The first one is we don't go to the park at the moment because of the COVID-19 situation. But my dogs are very blessed to be living in a huge house with a huge garden, with access to the garden 24-7, thanks to this very special door which my mom made herself. Another disclaimer is that owning a big number of dogs comes at a price and as much as this is financial, it is also physical. So later in the video you will see what damages they do just because there are so many. The youngest are three of those seven and they're 13 months old. And in my experience with whippets, which is fairly long, whippet puppies kind of stay puppies mentally until the age of 18 months. Meaning that until they turn 18 months of age, they need supervision. And not really constant supervision, but just enough so that you make sure that they don't destroy stuff. Because every once in a while, they will decide that it's very fun to destroy something. So there must always be somebody in the house, just to make sure that they're not getting into any kind of mischief. Another disclaimer, I have show dogs. And because some people have this misconception that show dogs are abused and have very hard lives, I hope that if you're one of those people and you see this video, it will change your mind because actually show dogs are some of the most spoiled dogs out there. I'm very lucky to have grown in a family with parents who also love animals. However, I'm animal obsessed mm, way more than they are, but you know what they say, the offspring should better the parents, right? Now let's get into the video. In the morning everyone is sleeping and being very lazy until noon and sometimes until 1 or 2 p.m. And they only get up to have breakfast or to go out. And just to quickly say here, for breakfast they have kibble and for dinner they have raw meat. In the early afternoon there is some playing action. But for the most part, they're still sleeping. Now let me just show you some of the damages I was talking about. We have a garden and most of those damages are in the garden. So when there is a running action, and that's a lot actually during the day, our grass started looking like potato fields. So for that reason some sections of the grass have been separated from the rest so that they can get the time to recover and grow back. And there have also been some holes in the walls, because little whippets apparently find it very entertaining to chew holes in the wall. And of course there is the hair and the dirt, because they have the access to the garden um, all the time, 
when they come in of course they bring um, dust and sand particles with their feet that end up everywhere on the floor and in our beds included so this here is what i have collected from my room uh, it also includes the hair and i believe my room was vacuum cleaned around two days ago and the hair is something that you cannot escape from if you have dogs with hair it's just something that you have to get used to it doesn't matter if you have one or seven dogs and the late afternoon is when playing happens <laughs> Dinner is the most exciting time of the day, as you can see, show dogs never eat and they're of course so very hungry. The excitement is real. For dinner today they're having blended raw chicken, yes, both the meat and the bone. There is also some organ meat like lungs, heart, liver, tripe and fruit and vegetables such as apples, bell pepper, zucchini, cucumber, boiled eggs with the shell, pumpkin seeds, coconut oil and homemade yogurt and all of this is blended and mixed in together. The three youngest, Jamie, Ruby and Ivy, eat together. Skylar, Brady and Cooper eat together. And Lacey eats apart from everyone because if someone bothers her while eating, she will just refuse to eat overall. Around 9 p.m. me and my sister go to give attention to the rats and clean out the cage. We have four rats together and for the dogs this means rat TV. For the rest they're usually just laying around and expressing the typical whippet laziness. And when it's bedtime we usually can't find a spot in the bed. Because when you have whippets, even one whippet can take half of your bed and will leave you wondering if you shouldn't maybe take the couch instead of destroying its comfort. And this, you guys, is a very summarized version of how my dog spent the days, especially now when we can't really go to the park. And for those of you who are probably watching and by chance have a whippet or a few, you will probably recognize a lot of these behaviors. And in my next video, I'm going to introduce all my dogs one by one. So subscribe if you haven't already so that you don't miss that one. And for those who are watching, how many dogs do you have or what is your dream number of dogs? You can answer that in the comment section. So thank you very, very much for watching and I will see you in my next video next week. Bye-bye!